aluminum foil, whether you're using it to cover your leftovers, line your baking trays, or craft a DIY project, it's a household staple. This shiny, ultra-thin material is something many of us use daily without thinking much about how it's made. But have you ever stopped to wonder how a solid chunk of raw aluminum turns into the foil we rely on? It all starts with raw aluminum, a tough metal, and through a series of fascinating steps, it becomes the versatile, lightweight material we use for everything from cooking to packaging. So what, what's the secret behind transforming that heavy metal into something so thin yet so strong? Today, we're going behind the scenes of a modern aluminum foil factory to see how it's done. From rolling massive sheets of metal to the final product that hits the shelves, this process involves more than just flattening aluminum. There's science, engineering, and a bit of magic at play. Ever wonder how they managed to get it so thin without losing its strength? Well, stick around and we'll show you exactly how it's done. Before we show you how it happens, kindly hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for more videos on how things are made. Aluminum foil as we know it today wasn't always so readily available. Its origins go back to the early 20th century when it first entered commercial production in Switzerland in 1910. Initially, it wasn't used for food or baking, instead it was popularized in packaging, with its first major use being for wrapping chocolate. Can you imagine a world where chocolate wasn't protected by foil? Hard to picture, right? Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, aluminum foil evolved. As more industries recognized its versatility and protective qualities, it became a go-to material for food packaging insulation and even as a tool for household use. The shiny, flexible metal became a way to keep things fresh and safe from the elements. During World War II, aluminum foil became a critical material. It was used in military applications, particularly for radar and signal jamming technology, but also for food packaging. Its lightweight durability and ability to preserve food made it essential for rationing efforts and keeping supplies fresh on the front lines. After the war, aluminum foil continued to find its place in kitchens, factories, and even hospitals. Today, it's a staple in almost every household and is used for everything from baking and cooking to insulation and packaging. It's hard to imagine a world without it, considering how crucial it is in our daily lives. Stay tuned, because soon we'll show you how this metal transforms into the foil that powers your kitchen, all starting from raw aluminum. To begin making aluminum foil, we first need to source the raw material, bauxite ore. Bauxite is mined from the earth, often found in tropical regions. It's not the shiny silver material we know, but a rough, reddish rock filled with aluminum oxide. Once the bauxite is extracted, it undergoes a refining process. The first step is to turn it into alumina, aluminum oxide. This is done by removing impurities from the bauxite through a process called the Bayer process, which involves crushing the bauxite, mixing it with a hot, caustic soda solution, and separating the alumina from the rest of the material. Now, with the alumina ready, the real magic happens. The aluminum is extracted through a process called electrolysis. In simple terms, this means using electricity to separate the aluminum from the oxygen in the alumina. It's a pretty high-tech process involving huge amounts of electricity to pass through the alumina, which breaks it down into pure aluminum metal and oxygen. Once we have the aluminum, it's not yet in the form we need. It gets melted down to make it easier to shape and mold into something useful. After melting, the aluminum is ready to be cast into various shapes, ready for the next stage of turning it into foil. What do you think the next step is all about? How does the aluminum gets pressed, rolled, and transformed into the foil that ends up in your kitchen? Keep watching! Once we have molten aluminum, it's time for the next step, casting. The liquid aluminum is poured into large molds, forming massive blocks known as ingots. These ingots are the building blocks for everything that follows. And their size is carefully controlled to ensure the right fit for further processing. Each ingot is made with great care to ensure it's free from defects. This is important because even a small imperfection in the aluminum could cause problems down the line when it's rolled into foil. The molten metal is poured into molds at specific temperatures to ensure it solidifies properly. Once it cools, we have solid aluminum ingots ready to be shaped. These ingots are carefully inspected, checking for any issues like cracks or air bubbles. Once they pass inspection, they're ready to move on to the rolling mills where the magic happens, transforming these solid blocks into sheets of aluminum. How do you think these ingots are transformed into the thin sheets we recognize as aluminum foil? 
Stay tuned because the next process is something you mustn't miss. Now we move on to the heart of the process, rolling the aluminum into those thin, shiny sheets we all know and use. First, the solid aluminum ingots are passed through massive rollers in a process known as hot rolling. The sheets start off around 1/8 inch thick, but as the aluminum moves through the rollers, it gets thinner with every pass. This step is key because it helps stretch and flatten the metal, turning those solid ingots into large, thin sheets of aluminum. The sheets are then wound into coils, making it easier to handle and move on to the next phase. But before it can go any further, the sheets need to be cooled down to ensure they're ready for the next round of shaping. These thin coils will eventually be transformed into the versatile, durable aluminum foil that's used for everything from food packaging to household crafts. But before we get to the peak of the process, let's see how these coils are prepared for the final stages of production. Stay tuned to see the magic unfold. Once the aluminum has been heated and rolled into a thinner sheet, it's time for the next step, cold rolling. In this stage, the already thinned aluminum sheets are passed through additional rollers at room temperature. This process takes the metal to an even thinner level, making it more flexible and stronger. Imagine it like folding a sheet of paper multiple times until it becomes easier to shape, except in this case, it's aluminum, which gives it a unique level of durability and flexibility. Cold rolling is key to getting the right thickness for different uses, whether it's for packaging food, creating industrial products, or making cooking foil, this process ensures the sheet is just the right size. The end result is an aluminum sheet that's not only thinner, but also stronger and more flexible, making it ideal for the wide range of uses we rely on every day. The cold rolling process is where the metal truly takes shape and becomes what we recognize as aluminum foil, ready for the next step in production. After the cold rolling, the aluminum is still a little stiff and brittle. That's where annealing comes in. In this step, the aluminum is heated to a specific temperature and then slowly cooled. This process helps remove any internal stress from the rolling, making the aluminum more pliable and easier to work with. Think of it like gently relaxing a piece of clay to make it soft enough to shape. Annealing transforms the metal, preparing it for the next steps in production. The result is a sheet of aluminum that is smooth, flexible, and ready to be used for various applications like cooking, packaging, or other industrial uses. This stage is crucial because it ensures that the aluminum foil will hold up during packaging and when it's used. Without this softening process, the foil could be too brittle, making it harder to work with. Once annealed, the aluminum foil is just a step away from its final form. The next time you use aluminum foil, remember all the steps it's been through to become that perfect, flexible sheet ready for your kitchen or your project. The aluminum has been softened. It's time for the next critical step, double rolling. This phase uses powerful rollers to pass the aluminum through once again, but this time it's about getting the foil to the ultra thin thickness we're used to seeing in stores. During this phase, the foil is pressed down to an astonishing 0.02 inches, 0.05 mm thick, so thin it's almost paper-like. But don't let its delicate appearance fool you. Despite its lightness, this foil is incredibly strong and flexible, able to handle all sorts of tasks, from wrapping food to protecting items during shipping. The foil is now ready for its final stages, and we're almost at the point where you'll recognize it as the familiar role of aluminum foil. Stick with us to find out what happens next in this fascinating process. Once the foil reaches the perfect thickness, it's time to get it ready for use. The thin, shiny sheets are now cut into standard sized rolls or sheets, depending on what's needed. This process is done using high-tech cutting machines that ensure each piece is exactly the same size, no surprises. But it's not just about cutting it to size. Each sheet of foil goes through a smoothness check to make sure there are no wrinkles, dents, or imperfections. These checks are crucial because, after all, you want that perfect smooth sheet when you reach for it in the kitchen. If any flaws are found, they are quickly addressed to maintain the highest quality. The foil is now in its final form, ready for packaging. Whether it's going into your kitchen drawer or being shipped off to stores worldwide, it's all set to perform. The next time you use it to wrap up leftovers or line your baking tray, just think about how this thin, shiny sheet went through a precise process to become what it is. But wait! 
The process isn't over yet. There is still more than one last step to make sure the aluminum foil is ready for you. Do you care to know this step? Then keep watching. As the aluminum foil moves through the production line, quality control is always on the lookout. Each roll must meet high standards, ensuring the thickness, appearance, and functionality are just right. After all, you don't want your foil tearing halfway through wrapping your meal. Automated systems are the first line of defense. These smart machines monitor the foil as it's made, checking for any defects or irregularities. Whether it's a slight imperfection in the surface or a slight deviation in thickness, these systems catch it before it becomes a problem. After the automated checks, the foil is inspected one last time by trained professionals. Only the saucy, highest quality rolls pass through this final inspection, ensuring that what ends up on store shelves is perfect and ready for use in your kitchen. When you grab that roll of foil, you can trust that it's been through several rounds of careful checks and testing, all to give you a product that works flawlessly every time. Once the foil has been cut into uniform sheets or rolls past all quality checks, then it's time for packaging. To keep everything in perfect condition, the foil is carefully wrapped in protective plastic or cardboard. This ensures it stays smooth and clean, so when you open that roll at home, it's as fresh as the day it was made. Packaging machines work fast, wrapping and sealing the foil to ensure nothing gets damaged during transportation. It's all done with speed and efficiency, so the foil is ready to be shipped out without a hitch. The wrapped packs are then placed into larger boxes where they're securely packed for shipping. These boxes are prepared for distribution to stores and retailers, so when you go to buy your foil, it's ready and waiting for you. Whether it's for wrapping food, covering a baking tray, or even for your next DIY project, this foil has traveled a long way to get to your kitchen. The next time you pull a sheet of shiny foil from the roll, think about all the steps that went into making it the perfect tool for your home needs. From the raw bauxite in the ground to the shiny, ultra-thin aluminum foil we use in our kitchens, the production process is a fascinating blend of technology, innovation, and craftsmanship. Every step, from sourcing the material to quality control, ensures that the foil you use is perfect for wrapping, cooking, and storing. Next time you pull out a roll of aluminum foil, take a moment to appreciate the precision and technology behind it. It's not just a simple product, it's the result of a highly sophisticated process that ensures it meets the standards we rely on daily. If you found this behind-the-scenes tour of aluminum foil production interesting, then kindly like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications for more. We'll continue to explore the making of other everyday products and how they're crafted from start to finish. Thank you for watching. We look forward to showing you more about the world of manufacturing and how the items we take for granted come to life. Stay tuned!